Uh, the recovery rally um, indicator for our National Recovery Month is something that I hope that we could do year after year. This is our second annual so far, but I hope to be not so long ago I was living homeless and helpless in the backseat of an old Oldsmobile. And I make jokes about it because it makes it less painful for me. Like, well, at least it was an Oldsmobile and not a Volkswagen, you know? <laughs> But as any of us that have experienced homelessness, we know that it isn't as romantic and lovely as they make it look in the movies, you know. And so not only am I delighted to be on this recovery journey with you, but I'm delighted to say that I just bought my first house um, on <laughs> Recovery works. Yay! Recovery gave me back my life. Um, Things for me had gotten really bad, and it, 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 my, my struggles, my journey was like over 20 years. I mean, I'm still on the journey, but I'm on the upside of the journey right now. The, the ups and downs and the dips and turns, that took me over a 20-year span um, that ended up with me being homeless, living on the streets of Atlanta, um, man, doing all kinds of things, you know, to support my habit. Um, and so... Finally, 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 you hear it all the time, you gotta be sick and tired of being sick and tired, and, and you gotta hit a real bottom and all of those things. So I got to the point where I was like homicidal and suicidal. I really was homicidal, I really wanted to kill some folks. And I figured that that probably wouldn't end up too good for Whether me. Whether they deserved it or not, that's <laughs> kind of the point, right? Yeah, they deserved it though. And I figured it just wasn't gonna end up well for me. And so that was my motivation. That was my moment of clarity that said, okay, I really need to do something different. And then I got, I'm old and just sleeping outside. I mean, it's just rough, you know, it's a hard life. And so this life that I have now, I prefer much better. Um, I've been working for the Georgia Mental Health Consumer Network for almost three years. <laughs> um, and it has been incredible. I, I'm, I mean, I'm just so thrilled to be a part of an organization that I mean, I've never been a part of anything where people just care about people so much. Um, I recently had to have a surgery, and it, I was just overwhelmed with the outpouring of support. You know, I had peers and friends and people showing up at the hospital. I had to run people out. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm pressing my little button, and I'm like, okay, y'all get out. But it, it was beautiful, you know, and then the flowers showed up, and then the card showed up, and it, it just was an amazing thing uh, just to be just to have support, peer support works. I think that we hear a lot of stories in the, in the news you know, about mental illness and uh, the- Bad news stories. Yeah, bad news stories, the stuff that happens, you know? And uh, anybody that takes a stand and wants to recover uh, from anything that they're, that they're dealing with, it shows how strong they are, it shows how smart they are, right? Because it, it takes a really strong, smart person to say, I got this thing and I need help with it, right? So, I mean, I think everybody should give themselves a hand. I mean, I didn't do so well in high school. I was, I was always getting picked on. I was always being bullied. And it hurt me and it brought me to the point of almost committing suicide. I was actually gonna die, literally. And so I got the help that I needed, and uh, the Cab Crisis Center referred me to the Wellness Center, and, uh, and uh, we uh, did a proactive interview, and I stayed there for about seven days, and I slowly started working on my recovery. I, uh, I went to the Georgia Peru Support Institute, also known as Gypsy in, in uh, Helen, Georgia, and that was fun. <laughs> I learned a lot about myself, and now I uh, went through the CPS training. I learned even more about myself than I do now, and now I am on my way to uh, finally becoming, uh, uh, working towards becoming a uh, special education teacher. So um, being a product of special education, I figured this was the best way for, to uh, get
give back to what was given to me. But only who knows? I've got I've got my own place. Yeah. yeah. I'm out of the streets. I'm not addicted to any drugs. I'm clean, sober. I got I got peers like you guys supporting me. I've got my mom supporting me. Yeah. And things couldn't be any better from now. I'm, I'm very optimistic of the future for 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 me. And I just want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for for listening to my story. Oh. Your coverage is worth it. Because we're worth it. Thank you. Because, you know, don't give up. All right. That's all there is to it. You know, just don't give up. Hold on. I used to be a drug addict. So what? I. I used to be an alcoholic. So what? I used to be homeless. So what? I used to be in and out of jail on a regular basis. So what? So what? That lived experience has brought me to realize what recovery is today. That journey, that lived experience, has brought me to the point of being humble, humility, saying that, but for the grace of God, that perhaps I would still be in those situations. But it's through an opportunity, through recovery, hope, personal respect, responsibility, education, self-advocacy, because recovery is a self-directed movement. I mean, you know, you can sit around and wait on the doctor to fix you if you will, and I tell you what, you'll be sitting for a very long time. You have to take a proactive engagement. You have to be willing to have an open mind to look and not be judgmental, as I heard earlier. But to uh, know that the secret of your entire being is within. It's in within. And so part of that recovery process for me was beginning to love myself, despite being a person who has lived with um, sexual abuse between the age of six and seven, who uh, has always owned being a, a, a person who was identified as having shortcomings, but, you know, through recovery, I realized that all of those things that I used to be, that you echoed, so what, did not keep me from becoming the person I am today. And I am a person who participated in community. Uh, I got a little house in the suburbs. Uh, <laughs> I've been wanting to sit up for years. <laughs> I'm so grateful for recovery. I'm so grateful for the Georgia Mental Health Consumer Network. Woo! Providing a cornerstone for so many recovery skills. Um, it's, it's truly amazing. Um, you know, like three months ago to this day, you know, I was sleeping on Martin Luther King Drive. You know, um, I've experienced homelessness, I've experienced mental illness, I've experienced addiction, and I was lost for a really long time. And I, I could not come up here without saying that the day I stepped foot from the crisis center into the peer support and wellness center here in Decatur, my life changed. All right. um, it was the catalyst for a transformational experience. Right. It was something I had never known. I never knew that because I don't have a real family, there's still people out there who can understand me who can accept me, who can talk to me and not judge me, somewhere I could escape the stigma. You know, that, that was amazing to me. Um, you know, a place totally dedicated to wellness. You know, yeah, it's amazing. Give it up, give it up. Pictures are painted and tainted, mistakes are made, like the colors I'm faded, I'm contemplating my havens, thinking if I can make it out all of my situations. Daily I'm losing patience, searching for motivation. Faith in all of my lessons, counting all of my blessings, but still waiting on God to answer all of my questions. And it's painful, I reflect upon realities rejected. I'm entitled to denial, cause the trial is so perplexing. My obsession with misdirection leads to depression. My flesh is dying, but trying just don't get you to heaven. The world cold, frozen like a bit of tundra, going under evanescent joy. That is torn asunder, rolling thunder, cracking at my window pane, thinking about some crazy things. Not a cane, sharper than designer things, man. And death is a simple aim. But really quitting the 
to never bring you a better name. That's real, and I know. It's worth it. Because we're worth it. It's worth it. Because we're worth it. I've been lonely. I've been cheated. I've been misunderstood. I've been washed up. I've been put down. So don't go. Change in my life.